Hello and welcome, my name is Amanda and I am an independent Sensi consultant and I am here today with the new Fall and Winter 2022 catalog as well as the 10 brand new fragrances um, and I am going to go ahead and smell through them for the first time, give my first impressions and kind of let you know like what the descriptions are, what the deal is with these new fragrances. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I have my catalog here, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the first page um, where this is where the new releases are. I have all of the scent descriptions here. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do random order. They're not in any particular order. Like I said, I've never smelled these before. Uh, I'm just gonna pick one up, read the description, smell it. So the first one I have up here is Blackberry Spice. And this one is described as ripe blackberry bundled up with cedar wood and fresh clove. Okay, this kind of has like a, I definitely pick up like a hint of that cedar wood Ooh, it's definitely more prevalent on the bottom. Um, and yeah, there is definitely like that spice, the clove. I'm not honestly, honestly not getting too much blackberry. Maybe more on the top. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit more on the top. Blackberry, but it's a very like deep fragrance. It's not bad. Probably not something that I will want to get more of, um, but let's continue on. The next one I have is Velvet Moon, and this one is, oh, so Blackberry Spice, of course that was a spice category. Velvet Moon is floral, um, and it is soft and vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Ooh, this one is good. I really like this one. It's got like a, like a powder note, but it's very subtle to me. Like it's not very strong, like in your face, like baby powder. Um, it's a very soft fragrance. Like it's probably not gonna be very strong at all. No, let's see. Hmm. There is like a, a slight sweetness to it, like from the vanilla flower, but it does smell like very perfumey as well. Ooh, this would be really good in body care if it was stronger. I do like that one. I hope it's not a complete like dud and I can actually smell it. Next we have black currant and plum. And this one is fruity category. It is dark plum and wild black currant emboldened sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. Yeah, I can see why they would put this in fruity category versus like the blackberry spice, which is definitely spice category. Let me just try to get this out here, maybe, almost, there we go. Hmm, I think mostly what I'm picking up is probably the current. It's kind of got like a, I don't know what the right, word is for it. Not very good at 
picking out specific like scents and describing them. But it, it smells almost like woody. I don't know, the more I'm smelling it, the more it smells like wood. Okay. Yeah, I can see there being like a deep, like a uh, heavy plum. Not heavy as in like um, strong, but heavy as in like dark or deep. You know what I mean? Not like airy and light, you know. But it is definitely fruity on the top. The bottom is more of like musky maybe is the word I'm trying to. Yeah, maybe musky would be a good description of it. I don't know. Um... Let's see. I don't get any apple at all. Hmm. Maybe on the top, like deep, deep in there. Not on the bottom. It's not bad. It kind of does smell on the lighter side to me as well. Like it's not like boom in your face. like. Typical like fall and winter scents can be like spice and woods and like it fall and winter typically has more like bold fragrances I guess you can say. Anyways, next we have white amber and silk, and this one is why warm amber and bergamot are wrapped up in comforting cotton for a smooth finish. And this is fresh category. Ooh, this definitely has like that cotton. I'm definitely getting like a laundry clean cotton smell to it. This isn't bad. Like, this would probably be really good mixed with Velvet Moon. Let's see. Maybe. They're both kind of lighter fragrances. I would say probably the uh, White Amber and Silk is a little bit stronger maybe than the Velvet Moon. It's not bad. I actually really like this. This would probably be a really good like laundry or bedroom scent. I don't think it's going to be strong enough for the entire downstairs area, but I really look forward to melting that one. Next, we have Falling Apples. And this one is Woods category. It says, take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. Okay, that's interesting. It's definitely not your typical apple scent. It's not like apples and cinnamon, apples and spice, not your typical fall apple. You definitely pick up those like woody earthy notes, so I would definitely agree with this being a woods category despite like it being apple it's a woody like earthy apple it's really good i do like that like kind of take on apple fragrances Cause I'm not always like into like apple spice scents. I do like, this is a very unique scent. Like it's not really like anything that I've smelled before. 
but it is good. I do like that one. Next, Sips of Cider. And this one is Citrus. A lively blood orange steeped with sparkling ginger and cinnamon stick. Not a fan, but I mean, it's not my favorite. Of course, I'll melt it. I'm not completely turned off by it. We'll see. But this isn't going on my list of favorites. I assure you. If I can ever get it out. It is definitely like a spicy citrus scent. There is like a background of orange. Hmm. Ginger. Yeah. I would say ginger is in there. Well, I mean, obviously it is, but I can um, recognize the ginger in there. Um, it definitely got nicer the more I was smelling it. <laughs> like at first when I first started smelling it, it was really like boom in your face, like citrus. And I'm not a citrus person really at all. But yeah. Okay, so next up we have Frosted Vanilla. And this one is fresh category. It says a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. Ooh, this one is good. Like this, like it has a coolness, almost like it has mint in it, but it's got enough vanilla to kind of tone down that like harsh mint. It really actually blends nicely. Ooh. I might like that one. And it seems like it'll be pretty strong too. And I'm not usually a mint person. So. Next is Cranapple Crumble. And this one is bakery. It says baked crayon apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. Ooh, this one is good. This one is gonna be good. Mm. Yeah, you definitely get all of the elements that are supposed to be there. You get the crayon apple and you get like the bakery brown sugar element to it. Hmm. That is going to be really good. Second to last. Didn't drop it. A Huckleberry Hideaway. And this one is Woods category. It says fresh picked Huckleberry Mountain Violet and crisp white woods create the perfect retreat. Ooh, that's not bad. I've been hearing reviews and watching reviews on this, and it seems like this is probably like everyone's least favorite. But I like it. I really like the Huckleberry in with the woods. Like it's very like similar, like and unique in how the falling apples was just like apple and woods. Like this one has that like berry in woods. It's like a deep berry, like almost, it almost kind of reminds me of Maleficent. If that's the one I'm thinking of. This 
one's really good. Oh, I can't wait to warm that one. I was scared of this one at first. I was like, no, nobody likes it. But I do. <laughs> I'm the weirdo. Anyways, last one we have is Perfect Day. And it is fruity. It says autumn pear mixed with spiced syrup and a spirited splash of bourbon. I get the pear. It's like a spiced pear. It's really good. And it's not like that throw up pear that you get from like, um, what is it? The perfect pumpkin pear, very peri pumpkin, like all of those terrible pear scents. Not like that. I don't get any bourbon either. This is a really good, like deep spiced pear. It's not like candied pear or anything like jumpin' jelly bean or anything like that. Oh, this one's good too. <sighs> Anyways, uh, that is really exciting. Um, I honestly didn't expect to like as many of them as I do. Uh, probably my most favorite. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna pick six. Two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, okay. So my six pack, if I were to build one today, August 1st, um, for the new catalog, it would include Velvet Moon, Crown Apple Crumble, in no particular order. I haven't gone that much in de detail. These are just my top six. Falling Apples. Perfect Day. Honey, a uh, huckle Huckleberry Hideaway. I almost said Honeymoon Hideaway. Huckleberry Hideaway. And Frosted Vanilla. So that is what to look forward to for the next six months of catalog as far as new fragrances um, and then of course we do have our returning fragrances from last year um, which I will probably do another video on at a later time I don't have quite time right now but I will definitely get that so that way you guys all know exactly like what is in the catalog. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.